So right now I just have a quick little elf haul. There's only like seven things. Um, my sister had been talking to me a little while ago and um, she said that like she was interested in some makeup brushes. So of course I recommended the elf studio ones and it was a few weeks back when they were having all studio um, items 50% off. So when she placed her order, I ordered a few things along with it because, you know, otherwise, like, you end up paying as much for shipping as you did for your order, so it's not really worth it. Um, I mean, you know, it's still, like, maybe $2 per item. Like, if you order seven things and then it's, like, $7 shipping, you know, it would only be $2 per item, but I just don't like paying shipping, so. Um, I just got a few things. I'm not really going to show you what she got because it's in her room and that would be kind of weird, but, yeah. So the first thing I got is this e.l.f. tinted moisturizer, and obviously all of this is still in the package. Um, I haven't tried any of it yet, but I'll do reviews on it once I have. Um, so this, it, I think it will match my skin. I'm not entirely sure. Um, looks like that. I got mine in ivory. Um, I think my sister also got, like, I picked out two for her, because e.l.f. has really bad swatches on their website. Um, but yeah, I actually, this seems like a really nice consistency, um, like it, it rubs in pretty well without being too greasy, but also without being like cakey and dry. So obviously my face would be different, and like I said, I'll let you guys know uh, how that works. But one thing is, it's kind of small, the foundations like, are one ounce, like that's just the sort of standard size, no matter what um, type of packaging it comes in. All the drugstore foundations that I've seen uh, come in one ounce packages, and then this one comes in a little half ounce tube, but, um, I mean, it's less than half an ounce, but I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing, because um, you're supposed to throw away your liquid products after... I think like a year or something, like you're not supposed to keep them for a long time, and especially because I don't wear liquid foundation all that much, I definitely think that it, it would be nice to have this, and I mean, you know, you, you're not going to find a drugstore foundation where this is two dollars, so this being one dollar, it's really not like you're being cheated out of anything. It was the clarifying pressed powder, and it says that it eliminates shine, helps treat and prevent breakouts. Um, I'm not sure that a $1 powder can do that, but um, I wanted to give it a try anyway because I've been looking for like a powder that will keep my face matte. And um, I was commenting on one of my friend's um, videos, Lactose Overdose. I don't know if any of you are subscribed to her, but um, yeah, and I asked her about something for like oily skin, um, and somebody else replied to me and said that the Complexion Perfection Powder, I believe it was. Uh, worked really well for them, so next time I order from e.l.f. I'm planning to get that. But yeah, it's, um, again, this is kind of smaller than most pressed powders. Like, I have uh, this one from Physician's Formula, and you can see them, like, side by side. It's definitely smaller. Um, I also got this one in ivory because my skin tends to be, like, yellow-toned, and so both of these are, like, the more yellow-toned um, product, I guess, like the lightest yellow-toned shade. Um, and then I got these two blushes, and, I mean, I know they're only a dollar, but I was sort of expecting them to be bigger, but these are the Natural Radiance Blushers. Um, this one, like, it's still in the package, and it's broken, so, um, I'm not really sure about these. I've heard that they're really chalky and, um, powdery, but I'm just going to try them anyway, because my face tends to be oily, so, um, powdery things don't really bother me. Okay, so that was weird. Um, yeah, they slide out like this, just, yeah, just took me a while to figure that out, um, but like I said, this is all broken in here, um, it definitely is very, very powdery and chalky, but, um, I mean, that applies, like, almost as thickly as an eyeshadow, but I guess if you blend it out, um, I think this is a really nice color, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well, but, um, I think this is a really nice color. And again, you know, you don't, I've never actually used up a blush. Like, I have a, a CoverGirl blush that I've had for five years, and I've barely made a dent in it. So, um, this next one is Shy, and um, this one, uh, Glow, was a bit more of like a coral with gold shimmer. This one is more like a peachy pink, and I don't really see any shimmer in it. If I can shut this. This packaging is really cheap, but... Um, you know, for a dollar, what do you expect? 
So yeah, this is like a pale pink, um, as far as I can tell, it's matte with maybe a tiny bit of like a satin finish, but there's definitely no shimmer to it. Um, and then I got three of the e.l.f. Studio blushes. I have all of the e.l.f. Studio eyeshadows, um, and I thought about getting all the blushes, but then I decided that I don't really like darker blushes, so there was no point in me buying the really dark ones because I'm not going to use them. Um, so this first one is Peachy Keen, and actually I think I was expecting this one to be lighter. I don't know, maybe it was this one that's, oh, I think Candid Coral is the lighter one. But, um, yeah, they come with this, like, protective covering. The funny thing about the Studio line is that, wow, I really cannot get this out, um, is that, like, there's so much better, like, packaging than the uh, $1 line, and yet they go on sale so often that I don't know why people would pay $3 for them. Like, it seems like, you know, they're only 50 cents more. Um, but, yeah, this packaging is really sturdy, really good. Um, and like I said, I have all the eyeshadows, so, you know, I know that it's not just it looks sturdy and then it falls apart. Um, this one, again, is sort of that pretty um, coral with gold uh, shimmer. This one looks a little bit more orange, whereas the glow color looked more pink. Um, I'm not going to swatch these because these are more sheer, less, like, chalky, and so I don't think they're going to show up so well. Um, and then this next one is Candid Coral. Yeah, Candid Coral. Um, no, just kidding. This one's not light either. Aw, I just chipped it. Um, yeah, so this one is Candid Coral. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. All of these that I bought were just sort of, you know, have like natural colors. Um, this is, let me compare these two side by side. So Candid this Coral, one, and then this one here is Peachy Keen. So as you can see, Candid Coral is just a little bit darker and um, deeper colored, but they're still both very light. When I swatch them on my finger, uh, they go on really light, you know, very natural colored. And then this last one is Tickled Pink, and my sister got this color as well. Um, it just looked like a really nice, uh, flattering shade of pink. And it looks like this. It's like pink with barely a sort of peachy um, sheen to it. I think actually this one really looks like um, this shy color that I got. Like if you compare these two. Um, they're pretty similar, but I think this one is much better quality. And I think it comes with a lot more product. Because these little blush things were .07 ounces. And these are .097. Okay, so it's not that much more, but um, these do come with more product. Oh, I don't know why I just held both of them. These come with more product. Um, yeah, so, so basically my only complaint with e.l.f. is that their shipping is horrible. Um, I ordered these on the 17th, I believe, and I just got them today, so it took them two weeks to get it to me, and I know that, you know, you can order the faster shipping I and I hear people on here saying, you know, I didn't order expedited shipping or anything, and I got them in three days, and I just, I don't see how people get them that fast, because I ordered it on the 17th, and it didn't even ship until the 23rd, so, you know, it took them longer than three days just to ship it. Um, and then, you know, obviously after they ship it, FedEx has it, and they can't really do anything about it, but it just, it's sort of, I mean, you know, it's not like the end of the world, I can stand to wait two weeks for my makeup, but um, it's just sort of annoying that it takes so long when, you know, I know that when I mail things um, through USPS, it takes them like, you know, two days to get some reviews on these, uh, once I've tried them out for a while, and... I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.